our beautiful mother earth is a unique planet in the solar system now why i am saying unique is because it has all the life supporting conditions like water soil air now apart from these conditions earth also has suitable temperature at which life can exist now each day on earth begins with a beautiful sunrise and then it is followed by bright sunshine during daytime now each day ends with mesmerizing sunset and then it gives rise to calm and tranquil nights now apart from these daily changes we also experience different seasons like warm summer monsoon dry autumn cool winters and spring now why do you think we experience daily transitions in day and night or different seasons on earth now all these things happen because our earth is not a stationary body rather it is always moving even when you are sitting or you are lying on your bed the earth is moving interesting isn't it now when i'm talking of the movement what type of movement is it does the earth roll over or bounce like a ball well let us see have you ever tried to spin a top on a surface it's very difficult isn't it now look at this spinning top the spinning top is moving with respect to a particular position that is its center now if we draw an imaginary vertical line passing through this center then we can say that the top is moving with respect to this particular line that is moving through its center now just like the top our earth also spins on an imaginary line that passes through the earth's center now this imaginary line is known as the axis so axis is an imaginary line that passes through the earth center and it connects the north pole and south pole now as i just mentioned axis is the imaginary line on which the earth spins now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this identify the imaginary line on which the earth spins is it the equator orbit pole or the axis yes the correct answer is axis axis is the imaginary line on which the earth spins in this video we can see that the earth is spinning on its axis now the spinning movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation now let me tell you that unlike the top the earth's axis is not straight rather it is tilted so although in this video we can see that the earth's axis is straight but in reality this is not true so in reality this is the true axis of the earth which is not straight rather it is tilted the earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 66 and a half degree from the orbital plane now orbital plane is the plane along which the earth moves around the sun so not only the earth moves or spins on its position but the earth also moves around the sun well we will talk about this movement later so as i just mentioned the earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 66 and a half degree from the orbital plane now we can also see another figure 23 and a half degree so earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree from the perpendicular to the orbital plane so we can define the tilt of the earth's axis in two ways firstly the earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree from the perpendicular of the orbital plane and it is also tilted at an angle of 66 and a half degree from the orbital plane let's choose a particular place on this globe say south america also know that the time now is 12 am of day 1 now the earth has begun 
to rotate as the earth rotates from west to east we can now see a different portion of the earth's surface that is south america is nowhere to be seen when the time is 12 pm of day 1 we can see a different part of the earth we can say that the earth has just completed half of its rotation now as the earth rotates further we can see south america again and when the earth returns to its original position that is when the time is 12 am of day 2 we can see that the earth has returned to its original position so the earth takes 24 hours or one day to complete one rotation and during rotation the earth turns from west to east well let me tell you an interesting fact Presently, when you are studying this lesson, the earth is rotating at a speed of 1670 km per hour, which is very, very fast. So, why don't we feel this incredible speed or why don't we have a vertigo feeling? Well, there are two justifications for this. The first reason is the earth's gravity. Well, you, your friends, the buildings, cars and even the air around you is being pulled towards the earth center by its gravity. So, we are actually attached to the earth's surface. Secondly, the earth always rotates at a uniform speed of 1670 km per hour. In other words, this earth never speeds up or slows down. And due to these two reasons, that is the Earth's gravity and its constant speed of rotation, we simply spin with the Earth without realizing its speed. So, in today's video, we discuss about the rotation of the Earth in details. Rotation refers to the spinning of the Earth on its axis. We learned that the Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree from the perpendicular to the orbital plane and it is also tilted at an angle of 66 and a half degree from the orbital plane. We also learned that Earth rotates from west to east and it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Finally, we read that the earth always rotates at a constant speed of 1670 km per hour. In our next video, we will discuss about various effects of rotation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now